If you don't know, I loved Dexter. Dexter Morgan was a likable and relatable serial killer. One of the most insane and thought-provoking main characters to a TV show that I've, I've ever seen. And suddenly we have season nine, basically, titled New Blood. Season nine is a attempt to improve over the extremely underwhelming seasons of uh, season six through eight. We open abruptly with Dexter running through snow with Iggy Pop's passenger blaring off in the background and back with quality storytelling, which, which is massive when you consider just how much ass season six through eight fucking sucked. I'm digging the snowy, cold, winter visual aesthetics going on throughout this entire episode. So Dexter hasn't killed anyone in about a decade, and he lives in a small town in New York. The plot twisty way that they reveal his girlfriend, <laughs> whoa. So there's a moment with Dexter and Angela dancing, like at a bar or something like that, and that whole sequence fucking gave me goosebumps, dog. <laughs> to, to, to see Dexter behaving in an, uh, in an almost authentically normal way, it's just like, Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, some, somehow Dexter seems more socially intelligent and foreboding than, than ever, somehow. Especially with this new, like, fucking short-ass bull haircut he's got rocking. Uh... Oof. Uh, this, the sequence where we see a psychological ghost version of Deb talking to Dexter, and then, and then she just fucking vanishes, right? And then it's just Dexter just staring off into space, and then it cuts to him sharpening this fucking blade, right? And then this evil fucking, like, rumbling music begins to fucking rise just bellowing and just just sub bass it's just just blasting all over the place this moment this is when i realized that dexter as a show has finally returned holy fuck that moment creeped me out i haven't felt this good about dexter since like fucking season five or something like that what a awesome sequence and it, it just it, fuck i i forgot just how good just how convincing michael c hall is fuck it's good to be back watching dexter live out his life in such a routine based way in such a bill murray groundhog day-esque way is filled with quiet unease as if you're watching a wire that's that's about to snap his life is adorable and, and nerdy and totally unassuming until this dumbass guy, I think his name is Matt Caldwell, uh, arrives hell-bent on buying this massive gun. It's, it's like a massive rifle. The way that Matt antagonizes Dexter is it's just brilliantly done, and it really makes you feel for Dexter Morgan. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the smile that crossed my face when Dexter states... I kind of have a thing about blood. <laughs> Man, the show feels re-energized. Deb being the new ghostly Harry Morgan that haunts Dexter is a hell of an idea. Speaking of creepy, when Matt awakes on Dexter's, like, killing table, right? The way that Dexter taunts and fucks with his prey is, is, is just as sinister and as darkly moving as ever. I'm really intrigued to see how Dexter plans to have a relationship with Harrison. <laughs> I'm not sure what to expect in terms of upcoming episodes. I mean, personally, I feel like I'm a little worried about this show going beyond this season. Dexter as a series deserves a, a great farewell in terms of a final season, as opposed to multiple seasons trying to outdo the past. However, this episode was fucking awesome sauce. Personally, I'm feeling a 9 out of 10. I thought this was a really strong episode.